Well, here's the Art Explorer, and we are in Bern, Switzerland. We're standing in front of the Paul Klee Museum. He's one of my all-time favorite artists. One of the things that I love about him is his images and then his titles. So let's go inside and get some inspirational spark. Here's a painting done on very coarse burlap. You can see the edges, burlap. And then he's put some paint down and has scratched into the burlap and the paint. And it created this image. And the image is called Early Sorrow. I find this a very interesting way to get texture. Here's a watercolor done on tissue paper. And the way the tissue paper takes the water and crinkles up creates a very interesting pattern and texture to the whole art piece. This is called Angels of the Star. So here's another piece where he's experimenting with uh, different brushes and it looks like squeegees with ink and getting all kinds of textures and patterns. This one is called Peasant Dwarf. So here we have a box of Paul Klee's uh, tools that he used to do some of his painting techniques. And one of it was with these sieves and brushes. And he'd put the paint on the sieve and then brush over it so it kind of splatter onto the paper. And then down below it you see two little pipes connected together. And the th long, thin pipe is in some type of liquid paint. And then you blow with the smaller pipe, and it becomes spray paint. And believe it or not, the ancient prehistoric painters used this technique in their caves that we visited in North Spain. Wow. Now we're going to look at some of his paintings uh, where he used the blow spray technique. And you can see how it's kind of like airbrush. The faces have been airbrushed with that little tool that we just looked at. So it makes a really soft, uh, feathered look. Now this painting is called fish people. Their little mouths are like little fishes and then there's a fish in the foreground. <coughs> Here's another example of the spray paint technique. It really makes a soft aura around the main subject. I think maybe I might try this. What an interesting effect it creates. In this painting you'll see the little screen pattern from the sieve that he, he used to splatter the paint through. Paul Klee was always experimenting with technique, different tools, paints, 
surfaces, all kinds of things. That's how he's created all this magic.